technique to draw these stairs? Well, it's so simple. In order to draw these kinds of stairs, you need to imagine that you want to climb these stairs. So, so first you need to draw one path of these stairs. You go there and you imagine that you just want to climb these stairs. So draw this, but you don't need to draw the other ramp because for the second ramp, you can just mirror the first ramp. It's actually a better way to do, easier and faster. The stair first, well, it has three ramps, so 21 risers would be good. Okay. The actual tread depth would be 30. And 1.20. Location line, right. And uh, when I want to draw this, what should I do? That's right, I need to switch my location line to the left. Now I want to make this bigger, so I select it. The location line is on left, so I can easily make this bigger. Actually, let's just do that one riser I had right here, right now. For the other side, I just need to mirror it to the other side, actually. So I select it, I click on mirror and the copy is already activated. So it's OK. And that's it. Now they need to connect to each other. So I make this happen. And that's it. Could I do this? No, it would be replaced. So the only thing I can do is to drag it. Now, imagine that I only want to select this side and stick it to the other side. That's it. So I select it and then move it. Now answer this question. Should I stick it to the first line or the second line? Which one? First or second? Exactly. The second one. Why? Because I said that this is a part of the structure and it could not be there. So we must connect it to the second line. But if you unwillingly stick this to the first line, it's wrong. Now I want to tell you how to understand that the connection between the run and the landing is correct. I want to tell you three signs. The first sign is about the stair path. So why don't you tell me? What is the difference between the stair path of the first run, which is correct, and the stair path of the second run, which is now incorrect? That's right, the arrow. This one has an arrow, so it means that it's disconnected, but the other one doesn't have any arrows, so it's connected. When you connect it correctly, there won't be any arrows. So, this is the first sign. The second sign. You see this structure next to the landing, right? Can you see it? When you connect your run in the right way, that structure will be removed. All right, you can't see it anymore. So the second sign is that the structure next to the landing is removed. Number three, the railings after finishing. If it's wrong and you click on finish, you can find this out really easily in the 3D, just like this. The railings block this path, so it's wrong. But if they are connected, everything is all right. Now, actually, the only thing left to fix is this stair path, which is easy. You should just select the landing and then you have to convert it to sketch 
and then uh, select this to path and connect it to that side and finish that's it let's go and see the railings too you see everything is okay